The goal of surgical therapy is to recreate the body's natural barrier to reflux. It does not aim to control acid production, so even though there still is acid within the stomach, the body's natural mechanisms have been recreated, and so that acidic liquid is no longer able to reflux into the esophagus, thereby preventing the symptoms. And this allows us to recreate the valve by going through the mouth and not having any interventions across the abdominal wall. We can use the whiteboard to diagram uh, the changes that take place with surgical therapy for reflux. So in normal anatomy, you start with the mouth and have the esophagus come down and go into the stomach. And you see that we have a nice sharp angle right here at the top and you have the top part of the stomach we call the fundus uh, up above. And what that does, this sharp angle, allows the lower esophageal sphincter to close tightly and physically prevent reflux so the liquid from the stomach cannot go beyond. In abnormal anatomy, in people with reflux, you have the esophagus coming down, you tend to lose that sharp angle. And so the stomach looks more like that. And so now it is much more difficult for the stomach and the lower esophageal sphincter to close. And since that valve stays open, the liquid can travel from the stomach up into the esophagus, giving you the symptoms associated with gastroesophageal reflux. So the principles behind surgical intervention are to go from this to a more normal appearing anatomy. In the laparoscopic fund application, the surgery where we go through the abdominal wall, we will take this top part of the stomach and wrap it around the esophagus. So the stomach will actually wrap around the esophagus, which will recreate that angle and also allow these muscle fibers to reinforce the action of the lower esophageal sphincter, closing that valve and preventing reflux. In the TIF procedure, we're not in the abdominal cavity, we're completely through the mouth and down into the stomach. And so we have to do it a little differently. What we can do is grab the tissue right here where the esophagus turns into the stomach and pull it down. And so that will recreate the normal anatomy. We'll place fasteners across to hold that in place. And so you can see we've turned the abnormal anatomy into a more normal appearing anatomy. So the angle is back and these stomach fibers now can reinforce each other to allow that lower esophageal sphincter to close. The benefit here is that it's been done completely through the mouth with no incisions across the abdomen. The transoral fundoplication works well. Patients are very satisfied with the results. The overall satisfaction is similar to both the laparoscopic fundoplication and to medical therapy. It is done in the operating room under general anesthesia. So you will come into the operating room, go to sleep, where we go through the mouth, down into the stomach, and examine the anatomy to confirm that the anatomy is abnormal and to get a better idea of the surgical field. The gastroscope is then removed and the TIF device is placed over the gastroscope. This device with the scope is advanced through the mouth down into the stomach. This device then allows us to recreate the valve as was described on the whiteboard. When the valve has been completed, then the device is removed and a repeat endoscopy is done to confirm that the new valve does close appropriately and will be adequate to prevent reflux. After the procedure is completed, the patient is awakened. Postoperatively, they will stay in the hospital overnight. The next morning, after the patient tolerates a diet, they will be discharged home and can follow up with me or their physician in approximately one week. Postoperatively, the patient will need to stay on a specific diet for six weeks. Uh, that's also associated with a six-week interval of no heavy lifting over 20 pounds. After that six-week period, you will be back on your normal diet, and then we'll work on getting you off your medication and get you back to your normal, reflux-free life.
Thank you for allowing me to explain the benefits of the TIF procedure today. If you have other questions or would like to schedule an appointment, please call the Heartburn Hotline for a personal consultation. Thank you. Thank you.